So I wasn't sure how to start this video. I thought maybe I'd be like, hey, let me, let me tell you a scary ghost story about a company that knows everything about you. And I thought maybe I'd do like a PSA. But what I wanna share with you guys is how much Google knows about you, how you can see what Google knows about you, and most importantly, what you can do about it. And I'm not sharing this information to scare anyone out there. A lot of you might already know that this information exists. Me personally, I knew it was there, but I didn't know the breadth of what Google actually knows about me. That's part of what makes Google and Android work, is that they can use the breadth of this information to customize the experience for you. So let me tell you how to find out what Google knows about you. Check out myactivity.google.com, and we'll link all to the stuff down below. The caveat here is you have to be signed into an account for Google to, to track you and not be using an incognito window. And there you'll be greeted by an incredibly scary history of what Google knows. So we were talking about this in the office, about what Google knows about you. And uh, one of our editors, Niven, was like, hey, I was able to check all the stuff that, that Google's aware of. And I was like, oh, I'd be curious to know what they know about me. And I saw it, and then my jaw like hit, hit the floor. He was telling me, he's like, hey, you know that it records everything you say when you do OK Google. And then I saw the audio tracks and I hit play and it was him saying that sentence that just ended was already showing up. It is incredible the breadth of information that's tracked. You're tracked much more heavily when using Android. It'll tell you every app you've opened, the time you opened it, where you were when you opened that app. Everything you've searched for, every YouTube video you've watched is all there. And to Google's credit, they do give you the option to filter or delete things that they know or limit what they see about you. The caveat there though is that your experience with Android or Google as a whole might not be as complete as maybe Google would like. That's not all Google knows about you. Google.com slash map slash timeline gets even a little bit like stalkery creepy. It'll tell you where you were, not only like the location like the city, like the restaurant you were at, who you were with, and pictures that were taken. So I went back and checked that history. Uh, when I reviewed the Note 7, I was on vacation with my family, if you didn't see that review. And it told me that I was in Hawaii. It told me what restaurant I was sitting at in Hawaii. And then it showed me the pictures that I took while I was there. It also knew when I flew home. It is incredibly comprehensive and sort of borderline like you need a restraining order. And again, I don't wanna scare anyone out there, but I do want you to be aware of what Google knows about you, presumably what Apple and other companies know about you. Google's just being more open about sharing it. So I don't wanna sort of yell at Google and say they're the giant devil, because they're at least being open about what they know. Apple and others are a little more secretive about sort of what they know about you. I'm gonna leave out a comment of the day from this video, because I wanna focus on the comments for this particular video, which I think are, are really relevant now. So again, let me know down below what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you are worried about security. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Buffalo.